Do you ever feel like you're not going to be able to keep going as a Christian? Well, today we're going to time travel. We're going to go to the end of our lives and see just how our story finishes. And it's going to be amazing. And just seeing a glimpse of that is really going to help us in the here and now. Now, we've been thinking about the journey that God takes us on when we put our trust in Jesus. Now, I'm here in the bathroom uh, because I was thinking about my mum and dad's bathroom. And there was a weekend when I was about seven where I remember going to the bathroom and locking myself in. I think I liked it because I could lock the door and I did come and go a bit. But I was thinking really hard about whether I wanted to follow Jesus. And after a whole weekend of thinking about it and chewing it over, I decided I had no other option. I had to put my trust in him. And as we've heard already, God has chosen each of us to go on this journey. As we put our trust in him, God has adopted us into his family. His spirit lives in us and we put on the new clothes of being like Jesus. One of Jesus's friends, John, puts it like this. Now we are children of God. But it's hard to keep going as a Christian. I remember going on the Explorers Weekend away and Christian summer camps and feeling really close to God. But then in between, it would all go pear-shaped. <coughs> We've all had these doubts. Why do I keep doing stuff I'm ashamed of? I don't know what God wants me to do. I just feel kind of lost. It's a bit like being in a car on a long journey. Your snacks have run out. You don't know where you're going. And it feels like you're never going to get there. Are we almost there yet? But John tells us it's normal to feel like this. Now we are children of God and what we will be has not yet been made known. We've become children of God. But what we will be, what we're going to be like in heaven, has not yet been made known. We can't see it yet. Our journey isn't finished and the destination seems a long way off. But, and this is where the time travel bit kicks in, John gives us a sneaky peek into our future. Listen up, because it's easy to miss how gobsmacking this is. We know that when Jesus appears, we shall be like him. When Jesus appears means when Jesus returns at the end of time as God and starts heaven. It's like a great curtain across the universe will be drawn back to show Jesus returning to earth as God. And we'll be there and we won't be frightened and ashamed. Because do you know why? When Jesus appears, we shall be like him. We'll be made like Jesus. Well, OK. But what is Jesus like? Well, in the rest of John's letter, he tells us we're going to be light because Jesus is the light. The true light is already shining. In the Bible, darkness stands for sin. That's the bad in our hearts, the dirty, shameful, dark corners inside of us. But Jesus's light shines into those corners and through his death on the cross, he purifies us so that we become clean and confident and light-filled. But Jesus' light doesn't just shine on us, it changes us into the light. We're going to become like beautiful gemstones with Jesus like a torch shining on us. We'll reflect his light, his goodness back out so that we all become more sparkly and good. But I'm not actually going to become a gemstone, am I? I mean, I'll still be me. So what is my light-filled self going to be like? Well, if we like Jesus, we'll be like him in that we will be perfectly able to obey God's commands. Now that sounds a bit boring, doesn't it? My wonderful journey ends in me being able to keep the set of rules. But it's not like that, because God's commands are the same thing as his light. Just like a shining lighthouse lighting our way at sea, his commands guide us and show us what to do. They keep us safe and give us meaning and purpose. Now, sometimes we do feel lost as a Christian, but in heaven, because Jesus will be right there guiding us every day, we'll never feel lost again. We'll know exactly what to do and we will be able to perfectly obey God's commands. So we're gonna be light, we're gonna obey God's commands, but what does God say we should do? 
Well, John tells us that too, and it's really easy. We should love one another. Jesus did this by dying on the cross for us. And in heaven, we will love one another perfectly too. So right now, when you keep doing stuff that you feel ashamed of, look forward to that day when we will love just like Jesus does. So that's our sneaky peek at the end of our wonderful journey as a Christian. When it feels like you're stuck or lost or you're not sure where you're going in your faith, remember, when Jesus appears, we shall be like him. We've been purified, clean and confident. We're light filled, like gemstones reflecting Jesus's goodness or mini lighthouses guiding each other to obey God's commands by loving each other more and more. And all of this is made possible by the last thing that John says, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. It's all possible because we shall see Jesus as he is. He'll be right there in front of us as the light, as someone who obeys God and loves others perfectly. Our wonderful journey will end with us meeting Jesus face to face. Let's tell God how much we're looking forward to that now. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you that you brought us on this wonderful journey of being a Christian. We're really excited about meeting Jesus and being made like him in heaven. Please help us to keep going in the here and now by remembering where we're heading and help us to love each other more deeply every day so we can be more like Jesus. In Jesus' name, Amen.